everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing something for Anna Kay. Anna Kay is new. She's a new trader. Just called me today. She did not get this stock pick from me. I, I don't know where she got it. Anyways, it's OTLK and it's an absolute piece of crap and she wanted to go long in this. Anyways, I don't think she ever got filled, thank God. Um, <clears throat> Anna has very, very realistic goals. Her goal is to only make $50 a day. But whether your goal is to make $1 a day or $1,000 a day or $50 a day, you still have to have a specific strategy and system to make money for the consistency, okay? It's not about just getting in something and making five cents or 10 cents. And honestly, I am not a proponent of penny stocks or low float stocks. They are dangerous, they are crap, they are awful things to trade. There, it's too risky if you want to make any substantial amount of money. You have to take way too much quantity of the size of the position size to get in it. You move the stock when you do that. These typically have no volume. Now, today this did have some volume, but I mean, this does not typically have volume. And also, look at this. This is such a piece of crap. This has not even been out for 12 month period. It doesn't even have a 200 period moving average, okay? Anyways, long story short, this is definitely not something that I would ever, ever, ever tell anyone in a million years to short or go long or do or trade at all. And I know people do this. The reason that people do this, and probably Anna Kay saw something online about this stock or something from someone, the reason people like to do these things is because they're cheap. Because you could take a large quantity, if you look at it, if you have a margin account for the cost of the stock at two bucks and change, you can take size in something like this with a low account. But let me tell you something. If you trade something, and I'm just gonna pull this chart out, if you trade a stock like Apple, not even on a big day, I'm not even talking about a huge day, I'm talking about a baby day, a baby day like today in Apple, tip to tail, 180, 59, 177, 891 in Apple, on a baby day, the stock will move two and a half bucks. So on a baby day in Apple, you can make even more than something like this other one with very, very small size because you Apple moves. This stock doesn't even move. Do you understand? From tip to tail in this one, it's ridiculous, 60 cents. And from the open to the close, 30 cents. So I get where people are coming from and the reason they want to do these things because they have small balance accounts, number one. Number two, there are people out there promoting stock like, stocks like this. Penny stocks are what are called low float stocks that they are touting, okay? And often people are, are actually um, moving these stocks where they take the positions or getting in the positions, moving the stock, and then exiting it and moving it while people are getting out and getting hurt in it, okay? It's called pump and dump. You can Google it online. So a lot of companies out there, educational companies, traders, trading rooms, people that are teaching to trade this crap, which I never would in my life and never will, they're doing something called a pump and dump. They will get in the stock, they will move it, then they call it, then people do it, then they dump it when other people are in it, and then they make the profit, then the stock drops and the people that bought it lose, or vice versa if it's a short. You can Google it online and read what a pump and dump in stocks are. People have bad reputations for doing this. Some people are unaware of that. I didn't get into that conversation today with Anna Kay. But the fact is that in a stock like Apple, you never have something like that happen because no one individual will be able to move the stock. Now, one fund might move the stock in a big position if they buy it or sell it, but it would still have to be a massive position for one fund to do that. And while that's plausible and possible, it's not something that happens at all, rarely at all. And if it does, you see it anyways before it even happens, okay, in the moment. So long story short, the fact is that pump and dumps happen in low float stocks and penny stocks. And it's one of the reasons it's very dangerous for people to trade them. And it's also dangerous for people to trade stocks that are at this price point. It's dangerous for people to trade stocks that don't have any length of data time, okay? And it's very dangerous for people to take 50,000 shares or 20,000 shares or 10,000 shares or 100,000 shares of a stock like this that barely moves or trades. In fact, let's pull up a one minute chart of the full entire trading day of this piece of crap stock. 
And there are many, 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 many minutes in this. This is a one minute chart where the stock barely moved at all or had ticks and, or did it move. Here's one. Show from 1243 to 1244. Look at that. In, the, in, in 60 seconds in 1244, the stock didn't move. Here's another one up here. 1246. It didn't even move. Look at that here. There, 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 there. there. I mean, they're all over the place. This is so dangerous to trade this. And I know that companies out there promoting to trade these stocks and actually calling them as trades, okay? If you wanna become a professional trader and do this and really take it seriously and make any money at all, let alone a lot of money, I'm talking about any money with any consistency, you have to stay away from this kind of crap. And you have to stay away from people that are promoting this kind of crap because they are promoting crap. This is crap, 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 crap. I can't find any better way to describe this. Total crap. You shouldn't be long this. You shouldn't be short it. It's crap. Okay? So Anna, Anna K. I I hope, did not get filled in this. I think the last conversation was that she did not. I hope she did not get filled in this. I hope she did not go long this stock. I hope that she did not do it. I don't know. Anyways, that's the tip of the day and the lesson for the day. The stock switch tip of the day is don't trade crap. And hopefully Anna Kay will join my services and do the class and learn how to trade right because this is absolute crap. So hopefully she stayed safe today. Anyways, that's the lesson of the day, people. Have a great night. Next Golden Gap class is June 8th and 9th. Have a good day.